and read through the questions here. Um, it says, um, runner taking part in the 200, milli, uh, 200 meter dash <laughs> must run around the end of a track that is a circular arc with a radius of, uh, all right, let me just start sketching. Um, so I have some track, and I guess it's not a straight track, does the run? All right. So the track is going to curve and the circles freehand well. And I'm given this uh, radius of the circle, radius of curvature of 28 meters. Uh, the runner starts the race at a constant speed. Three not. If she completes the 200 meter dash in 24.5 seconds and runs at constant speed throughout the race. All right. It, it, that makes our question easier. So we'll assume that. I don't think that's necessarily realistic, but let's go with that. Um, so I guess we'll, I will assume that the race ends somewhere here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know tracks all that well. So this is the, the distance of 200 meters and the, the she completes the dash at t equals 24. 0.5 seconds. Uh, what is her centripetal acceleration as she runs the curved portion of the track? Okay, so I think some of the language is deliberately in the question to confuse you. <laughs> so, you know, you might look at, oh, constant speed. So that must mean acceleration equal to zero. If she's running at constant speed in a straight line, then yes, that would mean acceleration is zero. But because running through this uh, circular arc, her direction is changing. There is a centripetal acceleration in this portion of the run. And uh, this is where you just have to remember that uh, centripetal acceleration is given by V squared over R. Yeah. I guess uh, I do have a lecture video that does the derivation of it, or I think I uh, kind of read through the textbook's derivation and fill in the gaps. I won't ever have you derive that formula. The most important thing is for you to know that that formula is there and what it is. Uh, I would recommend that you have it memorized because you're going to be using it often enough that it's worth memorizing. So, um, so we are given the radius of curvature. That's great. We'll be using that. Um, we'll be using R. I guess we are not given V directly. But we are given that she's completing 200 meter dash run in some amount of time, and we are assuming she's running at constant speed. So we can write our V as the distance divided by time. So our the acceler the centripetal acceleration of the runner in the curved portion will be the distance that she runs 200 meters. Uh, I guess let me just write it. <laughs> um, 200 meters divided by time, 24.5 seconds. Make sure to square it, V squared, divided by the radius of curvature, 28 meters. And when you work out the units, the units should work out to be meter per second squared. Let me just uh, type this in. Uh, parenthesis open, 200 divided by 24.5, parenthesis closed, squared, divided by 28. And, and uh, you should always know how your calculator works. I know my own calculator well enough that um, in this, the, the exponent takes the precedence over division by 28. So. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that is also the normal order of operation. Okay, 2.38 uh, meter per second squared. 2.38. Yeah, I think this is why I thought it's unrealistic to think a show run at constant speed. But because this is a significant fraction of g, I think that, but <laughs> it makes our problem solvable. And that's uh, something that we do quite often, often in uh, physics problems. Uh, we make uh, simplifying assumptions and um, we do it with while recognizing that it won't give 100% correct answer, but it gives you a good enough answer in reasonable amount of time. So, yeah. 